Why do we do what we do? Is it for some expected reward? Or is it because we know deep down it's the right thing to do? This is a question that echoes in the chambers of our hearts and minds, a question that guides our actions and choices. Such a question is at the heart of a profound teaching from the Mishnah in Pekavot. Antigonos ish soho kibel mishimun hatzadik. Uhaya omer al tiyu kaabadim ha misham shine sarav al menat de kabel pras. Ela hevu kaabadim ha misham shime sarav she lo al menas le kabel pras. Vihi mora shamaim aleichim. Antigonos, a man from Soho, received the oral tradition from Shimon the righteous. He used to say, Do not be like servants who serve the master in the expectation of receiving a reward, but be like servants who serve the master without the expectation of receiving a reward, and let the fear of heaven be upon you. This teaching, this wisdom passed down through generations, carries more than the weight of history. It carries a truth about the nature of righteousness. It tells us that the act of doing what is right should not hinge on the expectation of rewards. It should be a selfless act, a duty fulfilled, not for personal gain, but because it is the right thing to do. Think of it as the relationship between a servant and a master. The servant does not serve the master in the hope of receiving a reward, but because it is his duty. He serves unconditionally, without expectation, and so should we approach our acts of righteousness. We should perform acts of kindness not because we expect some form of reciprocation, but because we understand that it is the right thing to do. The fear of heaven mentioned in this quote does not refer to a fear of punishment, but rather a reverence for the divine, a profound respect for the order of the universe and the laws that govern it. It is a reminder to keep our actions aligned with this order, to live in harmony with the divine will. Now, let us bring our thoughts back to the essence of this teaching. It is not about rewards or punishments, but about the inherent value in doing what is right. It is a call to action to live a life of righteousness, not for the sake of a reward, but for the act itself. In the grand tapestry of life, every stitch we weave, every act of kindness, every word of comfort, every gesture of love, they all matter. They contribute to the beauty of the whole, not because of some reward you might receive, but because they are what's right. In conclusion, the Mishnah in Pirkeavot invites us to reflect on our motivations, to question why we do what we do. It urges us to do what is right, not because of an expected reward, but simply because it is right. It is a call to align our actions with the divine will, to serve not for the sake of rewards, but for the sake of service itself. This teaching, ancient yet timeless, serves as a beacon guiding us towards a life of unconditional service, a life of righteousness. May we all find the strength to heed this call, to do what is right, simply because it is right.